Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, a special edition from the 2021 SEMA show in Las Vegas. We decided to get together with 160,000 of our closest friends to examine all the automotive aftermarket world has to offer. To say the show is enormous is an understatement, so we've recruited our friend Joe Costello to check out some of the highlights from here in the convention center. This is the Mazda RT24P. It runs in the WeatherTech Sports Car Series. It's an LMP2 car, and it is born out of a partnership between Mazda and Multimatic. Originally started out as a Lola. It has been ever evolving, and in 2019, it finally got its first win at Watkins Glen, kicking off a three-race win streak called the Mazda Summer. Ultimately, after the 2020 pandemic, it won the 12 Hours of Sebring, making it a sports car immortal. When it comes to off-roading, Warren has been the name in winches forever and ever. But here at the booth, I found out you guys are so much more than winches, Brad. And you can demonstrate that here on this Bronco. What do you guys have on this amazing vehicle? Yeah, beautiful Bronco build here. Obviously, it's the year of the Bronco at SEMA. This one's featuring our Warren Elite bumpers, front and rear. Obviously, winch bumper in the front. But increased ground clearance, a whole lot more off-road protection, increased clearance for your bigger tires. Uh, and it's a great looking you know, powder coat finish that's gonna stand up to a you know, 408 hour salt spray test. And we also talked earlier, this is engineered to make sure this isn't twisting and bending your frame too, which is really important. But I, I do wanna get to the centerpiece of this, the classic Warren Winch. The classic has evolved. How has the Warren Winch changed? So yeah, we've got a VR Evo winch in here, which is the new standard in entry level winches. This one does come with a wireless remote, or you can even run a optional Bluetooth receiver on these winches and run your winch with your phone. And again, not just the winches, I see wheels with the worn name on them. Those have been around since 2019 for the Jeep, and also some great looking rock sliders on the side of the vehicle with some steps on them. How can I remove those steps and when I'm getting ready to go off road? Yeah, just two bolts on the steps. Uh, take them off there. That way you've got the full, you know, full slider, good off road protection, but, you, but you're not going to get hung up on them at all. If you're going to go off road and don't just go, go prepared. Go with Warren at Warren.com. As long as I've been coming to the SEMA show, I don't recall seeing a current Formula One car like the Red Bull 16B, fresh off a victory at Circuit of the Americas. Max Verstappen fighting Lewis Hamilton for the 2021 championship. The car is amazing. Designed by Adrian Newey. In the age of computer design, he still uses paper and a pencil. You can see up front the suspension designed for those slow speed corners, and clearly it's working. They've had a great run this year. It's so cool to see this car here. They're coming to Miami. Miami in 2022, Formula One at SEMA. If you're working on any automotive project like this 1956 Volkswagen bus, you are going to need Dynabraid tools. You're going to be grinding, you're going to be sanding, or maybe you need the soft touch here of an eraser wheel. Tell me, Matt, what are you doing on the side of this bus here as your project for SEMA? So what we have is a lot of times with these older vehicles, you sometimes see them with a bunch of stickers all over, and you want to get those stickers off. And sometimes the old way was to actually take them off razor blade heat gun. Well, we came up with a tool that actually could take it off so much faster and not affect the finish below. So what I have is a Dynabraid Nitro Zip, and what this tool will do is remove the sticker without marring the surface. Let's take a look and see how that works. Simple as that, and you've also got a more aggressive eraser wheel as well, but for projects like this, what other tools does Dynabrate offer? We also offer sanders, buffers, grinders, based on the material that you're working on and or the substrate that you need to actually get that wet finish you're working with. In this case, we have a nice primer surface that we want to get ready for paint. So in that case, we would use a random orbital sander or what we call in the industry a DA sander, a dual action sander. What makes Dynabrade's DA different from some of the others out there? I'm glad you asked. It's the most powerful sander on the marketplace. It's a palm sander that can actually get the, the finish. We include the backup pad, which we manufacture, and the sandpaper to obtain that finish you're looking for. Everything you need for the perfect finish. That perfect finish begins and ends with Dynabraid. Check them out at dynabraid.com. So much more to show you here from the SEMA show. 
Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, will return from Las Vegas, so keep it locked in right here.